Lindsay Horan shoots as Nelia Bermudez as the U.S. women's national team made attack after attack last week in Washington, D.C. The final pass was just a little bit off the mark, or the decisive shot was just fired a few inches wide. The USWNT's scoreless draw against Costa Rica in their final game before heading to France for the 2024 Summer Games was as frustrating as the nation's capital was hot that night with the thermometer reading 97 degrees at kickoff but it also made for a neat encapsulation of the task ahead of head coach Emma Hayes and her squad during these Paris games. The old reliable stars of the team's golden generation are largely gone, and this will be the competition where new ones will have to be made, or a streak of disappointing major tournaments will go on for another frustrating few years. We want to make this environment comfortable, but also know, you know, what the standard is, you're here for a reason, said Lindsay Horan, the midfielder who serves as the team's captain. Any new player coming in, that means you're one of the best in the country, and you have every right to be here. So, the nerves and all those things, they're normal. That means this means something, and you're playing on one of the best teams in the world. And we want to get back to being the best in the world, so we need those players. And like I said before, we have a lot of new players and new players that make up, you know, the starting spots on this roster, so we're gonna need them to be great, be confident, and you know, everyone that's come in so far, new players. Young players, too. The confidence is outstanding. For young stars like Sophia Smith and Trinity Rodman entering their first Olympics, and four other players playing in their first major tournament for the U.S. national team, it's the first major test in what they hope will be a long career in the red, white, and blue. Other veterans like Rose Lavelle and Alyssa Nair will be looking to redeem themselves from disappointing showings in Tokyo and Australia and New Zealand, where the U.S. suffered its earliest ever defeat in the World Cup. The USWNT defeated Zambia 3-0 in their first game Thursday in Nice, France. A new era. When she set the roster, Hayes acknowledged the surprising decision to not bring Alex Morgan to France, picking players who she felt adapt to her style and could play in the tight turnarounds that Olympic competition requires. It was arguably Hayes' first tough decision as the manager of the women's team after coming on board in late 2023 following a successful decade-plus at Chelsea FC in London. She told reporters after the Costa Rica game that at that point, she'd only had about a half dozen training sessions with her team, leaving her not much time to build the kind of relationships that major competition victories are built on. Even still, she is finding it easier than anticipated to get her team to come together. I've only had a half a dozen sessions and four games. No problem, like, I'll make the most of those, she said. And in the sessions we have leading into the Olympics, we'll add another layer to prepare us for the opening game in Zambia. When we have to be patient, there's a lot of young, inexperienced players that are still learning at this level. And yes, it's a new era. Yes, we want to win. But we have to understand the steps to take to do that. For first-time Olympians like defender Sam Coffey, that patience is key. While Coffey says she intends to enjoy her Olympic experience and live in the moment as much as possible, the 25-year-old added she and other players stepping onto this stage for the first time are going to be doing a lot of learning. While that learning is part of the path to success, it can be a difficult position to be in when so much is expected quickly of the U.S. women's national team.